this is very sad. We have to stop playing with God as if he has no feelings or emotions and as if he's not going to judge people for their iniquity. We got to stop doing that because people are messing around and they're finding out that God does not play about his children. I don't take pleasure in watching people's downfall, especially if they're disobeying God, because we were all enemies of God at one point. But this is necessary to talk about because we need to have the fear of the Lord in this hour. We can't just be actively spitting in God's face and thinking that we're going to get away in this life scot-free. And maybe you will get away in this life scot-free, but in eternity, you will have to answer for your actions. What's going on, guys? It's Big Nick back for another video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel today. Before we get into today's video, if you guys like Christian content, please give this video a like, subscribe to my channel down below if you are new, and turn on my post notifications so you never miss a new video. Without further ado, let's get into it. Celine Dion experienced the wrath of God by getting an incurable disease after releasing this satanic commercial targeting children. In this commercial, Celine Dion debuts a new clothing line for children, which is completely gender neutral, where she blows this demonic dust on babies in a nursing room, which is supposed to remove their binary gender. She also proceeds to explain that your children are not really your children. This type of rhetoric is not surprising, considering she was a frequent client of Jeffrey Epstein. She was actually one of the many celebrities to be listed on the flight logs a few years back, and during this time, the media tried to portray Epstein's island as some crazy conspiracy theory, and in doing that, they worked heavy on covering up this list. Upon looking at the gender-neutral clothing lines page, we see her bizarre obsession with dressing up children in satanic ritualistic outfits. These photos are really dark, and to be honest with you, it made me very angry looking at this. The reason why I was so angry is because I know that these children clothing lines are nothing but a front for a larger trafficking network, which involves children. So when I saw these photos, I knew what was happening happening off camera and it really disturbed me and it really saddened me. And it goes to show you that these celebrities are absolutely demon possessed because no sane person would dress children up like this. In this first photo, they have a girl wearing a bag on her head, which is to symbolize that they view her as a disposable piece of trash. The second photo shows a girl holding up a mirror to her face with a demon inside of the mirror. The third photo has a girl wearing a Baphomet mask in the middle of the forest. And this fourth photo shows a baby dressed up in demonic horns. Most of these celebrities just use woke agendas as a full-fledged gateway into Satanism, considering that the devil created these woke agendas in the first place. But these woke agendas are more societally acceptable because they use the popular buzzwords like diversity, inclusion, love for all, you know, the feel-good terms that are really just satanic principles because they're all rooted in self and they're all rooted in sin. Now here's where it gets really tragic for Celine. Recently, she contracted an incurable disease called stiff person syndrome, which is a rare neurological disease that's hindered her in making music any longer. In this recent documentary, we see the tragic footage of what this disease has done to her life. It's hard to watch. But Celine Dion wants her fans to see what she's enduring. The beloved singer suffers from stiff person syndrome. She was at her doctor's for a checkup when a seizure swept over her. She tried to laugh it off when she felt the first signs in her fingers. Soon, she was in the full throes of a medical emergency. Brian, I need you right now. She's in a crisis. Lift her. Yep. Ready? One, two, three. She might be in spasm. Awesome. Yeah. So then you're okay. You're okay, Celine. You're good. The harrowing scenes are part of her new documentary on Amazon Prime, I Am Celine Dion, which starts streaming today. She's given a sedative in her nasal passages. Good, hands are starting to loosen up. After 10 minutes, she's recovered. Sadly, she'll experience similar attacks many times as she battles the incurable disease. Every time something like this happens, it, it makes you feel so embarrassed. Yep, there we go, there we go. Although that video was very sad, whatever you sow into this world, you will end up reaping, just like Galatians 6, 7 says. The secular world likes to call it, whatever you put out in the universe, you'll get back. I mean, that's all biblical principles. They just take God out of it. But essentially, God's word speaks about this exact principle, and it is true. You can't do weird things to children and not expect anything to happen. God does not play around when it comes to children. Because Jesus says in Luke 17, 2, it would be better for someone to have a millstone hung around his neck and cast into the sea than to cause one of his little ones to sin. Seriously, the Lord said that himself. People believe because God is love, he does not have any emotions when it comes to righteous indignation. But if we get upset about injustice being done to children and we are made in his image and likeness, then God has to have those same feelings that we have as well. In the full passage of Luke 17 too, Jesus says this, it would 
would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were cast into the sea than that he should cause one of these little ones to sin. And in that passage, he was talking about children. Do not play with God's children because God will not play with you. At the end of the day, I feel bad for both parties involved, the children and Celine Dion, because both of them are being attacked by dark spiritual forces. However, there does exist free will and when you choose to come into an alignment with the plans of Satan, you become an enemy of God and you are subject to the wrath of God to come. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, I want you to comment down below God will not be mocked. If you guys want to financially sow into this ministry, I do have an offering link that's in the description. Or I have merch that you can buy, which is also linked in the description. You can also become a channel member here on YouTube where you get access to certain perks, like even being on the front page of my channel. If you want to check out my last video, you can watch it up here. Or if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can click that button up there. I'll see you guys very soon for another video. I love you guys so much. May God bless all of you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take care and peace out.